this vlog is probably going to be a little long i was supposed to have the if you guys remember i did this little number right here Oy, i did that i was supposed to have the manuscript to the spin-off back to the editor last wednesday but last wednesday i was really sick and um i had a terrible headache and i barely worked and that's why i'm a week off so i didn't get anything to the i didn't get anything to the editor last week and what i decided to do is i decided to find two beta readers to read the manuscript because there were a couple things i didn't necessarily agree with with the uh, editor so i wanted to get the feedback i wanted to make sure it wasn't that i was just attached to the story i wanted to see what my beta readers said um to people that i actually trust that um read between us and liked between us and they were looking forward to the spin-off so i went ahead and sent that to them and i'm waiting for them to get that back to me as soon as they get it back to me depending on what they say if they agree with the editor I'm going to go ahead and make those re uh, revisions. But in the meantime, I'm still working on this, um, the blurb, trying to make it just as tight as it can be so I can send it, when I send it back to the editor, I want to send her the blurb so that she can edit that as well. So for now, we are going to continue working on, on this and then I'm going to switch over to the actual manuscript and look for a couple of things that I know that I'm going to fix uh, that I needed to look out for. For example, she told me, I think it's called white room syndrome, that uh, she noticed a few spaces where there were, it was called white room syndrome. And I never heard of that term before. And that's basically when your character... Uh, pops into a scene but you don't really know where they are or what they're doing um, so I went ahead and made some of those adjustments so I want to go back through it and make sure I didn't miss that so yeah let's get this blog vlog started Okay, so I just heard from the cover designer for Between Us and what she needs is page count and a bunch of different information so she could do the wrap for the book, the wraparound. And what I'm thinking is I really want to include the first chapter of the sequel to the book, even though that's not where it's at right now obviously it doesn't have it this is the proof from before i have the other ones out there so it just basically ends where it ends and with the epilogue and i wanted to add a f you know the first chapter of the spin-off but as you guys know uh, we just falling the book is not edited yet so it's i'm what i'm going to do i think is i'm going to calculate how many pages the first chapter is and just add that to the total amount of pages um so that i can add it in once the book is done edited being edited so that's what i'm working on right now i hope everything goes well Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually going through the manuscript and trying to find the white room syndrome that the editor was talking about. And I'm only in the second chapter and I've already found a couple things. So I guess she was right. <laughs> um, what time is it? It is 3 o'clock. Going to try to work till 5 on the manuscript. I already sent the between us stuff to the edit, um, the cover designer. So I'm going to work for a couple more hours till 5 and I think I'm going to call this blog 
it for today because it's pretty much all the same stuff and then I'll catch up again either tomorrow if there's stuff going on or I'm going to be working. I just don't know if I'm going to be vlogging every single day and combine it all to the week. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, we are done with day one. Okay, so today is day two of the vlog. I just went ahead and deleted an entire scene that wasn't working for me. I was doubting it from the beginning and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it and in the end I ended up taking it out. So I'm still working through the revisions on the book. So we'll see how today goes. I'm hoping to get through the entire manuscript. This is my editing process right now. I went ahead and deleted those descriptions. Uh, I went ahead and deleted that scene just because it was what I knew I had to do from a long time ago. But I'm really focusing right now on adding description to the novel. That's what I did last night because she also said that I needed more description. So I went ahead through the novel and I'm adding description where I realized that not only was there that white room syndrome where we ended up in a room and we didn't know where we were, but I realized that I didn't actually describe a lot of the places where they were. And as you guys, as I've mentioned before, this novel is based in Hawaii. So I'm going to go through now and make sure that I've described the hotel, that I've described this, uh, described the room that I describe the restaurants a little better where they go, that I describe um, the different places where they are at. So that is my main focus today as far as revisions are concerned. So it's about still day two <laughs> and what's the time 3 16 and I'm still going through what chapter am I on? I don't even know what chapter I'm on you guys that's how much okay I've gone back like I said this morning and I was adding some description so I think it's good because I think I was missing a lot of description at the beginning of the novel um, like she's staying in this big hotel in Hawaii and I really didn't describe not only the hotel where she was staying the indoor or outdoor except for when she goes to the pool area so I went ahead and added all all that description which I think made a huge difference so going forward I don't know if there's like a ton of description that I missed but I'm still gonna go through it but that's where I'm at right now and right now I have let me see them because my daughter goes to take my grandson to karate on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturday. And in the meantime, come here. Whoa, I watched this little baby. What? Say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> no. So, oh, so I'm going to probably stop, stop for now. And we'll see what happens because obviously I can't write with him here. So that's it for day two and we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Hello and welcome to day three. Today is March 17th, which is St. Patty's Day, which is where I'm wearing my green. I'm wearing a necklace. I'm wearing my bracelet. Well, you can't see it because of that. But anyways, I am determined to get the revisions done this week. So I'm hoping, today's Wednesday, I'm hoping I can finish by Friday. So let's get started. It's a little late today, let me see. It's already 11, I'm drinking my green juice and I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let's jump into the vlog. Okay, so I just want to show you guys an example of what I'm doing as far as adding description and how I didn't really catch this the first 
10 times I read the book. So here I'm going to show you what I mean. Let me see if I can turn the camera around. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I'll read it. This is uh, chapter 13 and this is the second draft, but you know, more than one draft. But here we go. This is a little section. It goes, the morning after dinner, I was ready to go home. But of course, that was impossible. I had about a dozen excuses lined up for why I had to leave, but Sky would have never forgiven me if I had. Okay, so the problem with this is that it starts off and you have no idea. You know it's the morning after the dinner, but you don't know where he's at or what he's doing, if he's standing, if he's sitting, nothing, right? So we're going to go here and this is how I rephrased it. It says... We're in our suite, and I'm waiting for Skye to finish getting ready for the first of many excursions as a group, hiking. It's the morning after the welcome dinner, and I wish I could just go home, but of course, that's impossible. I have about a dozen excuses lined up for why I have to leave, but Skye would never forgive me for leaving. And then I go further into, I'm doing my best to distract me from the last from last night's love fest between Jen and Trevor by, by sitting outside on the large balcony. Although our suite offered plenty of space to be alone, I found the fresh air helped clear my mind. So that's exactly the kind of stuff that I'm going through. Right now, I'm going through each, let me just put this back on here. Okay. I'm going through each scene and making sure I have a sense of where they are at and what they are doing. So that's what I've been doing. It is 526 and I am calling it a night and tomorrow I'll get back to it. So this is where we're at right now. I have, let's see, what chapter am I on? There are 37 chapters. I'm on chapter 20. So I have 17 chapters to review. Divided by two is eight. If I give myself the entire weekend divided by four, it's only four chapters a day. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself the entire weekend, give it to the editor either Sunday night or Monday. And I'm waiting on my beta, beta readers to get back to me. If they get back to me this weekend, I hope they do. I hope they do. I didn't give them a timeline and that was my fault. Um, I don't know. No, I don't know what to do. Anyways, I'll think about it if I'm gonna send it to the editor before I hear from my betas or if I'm just gonna wait for my betas, maybe I'll contact them and find out, you know, where, when they think they can have it back to me and then I can make my decision at that point. So for now we're done and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so today is day five, I think, of this vlog. I don't know, I lost count. But either way, it's the next day and it's a little late again, it's almost 11 and I'm just getting started, so. I'm going to see how many chapters I can get through today. Hopefully, I can get through a lot. Like I said, either eight or four, depending on when I want to finish. So, I'm on chapter 20 right now. Let's see how many I get done before the day is over. Alright, so it's the next day. I actually did a lot more than I had planned on doing yesterday. I think I reviewed like 11 chapters and remember I thought I was only going to be able to do four or at the most eight, but I am definitely getting ready to finish. I did hear back from one of my betas. She is going to try to get to me um, all her feedback by this weekend so I can definitely get it back to my editor either Sunday or Monday depending upon when I get that stuff done, but sorry for the look. I haven't put any makeup on the entire time I've been vlogging just because I just get up and, you know, start working and I don't really take the time to either do my hair or my makeup, but anyways, that's the way it is when I am working and on revision mode and editing mode and that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting back to it. I literally have one, two, three, four, I have five chapters to go 
and I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. I ha like I said, I have a lot of words that I added, but mostly I've added a lot of description and I'm, I'm super happy with the way it's come out. I got the cover for Between Us, the new cover. I heard also back from the audiobook uh, narrator. She said it's going well. She's on track to finish when she said she was going to finish. She said she's having a blast doing it. Her and her husband are doing it. And um, I don't know. I'm just happy. For now, I'm just going to go and get done the next five chapters. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how long it's been. I forgot to look at the time when I first started. Let me see. I don't even know. But anyways, I'm almost done. I have two more chapters to go, and I'm officially done with this part of the revision process. So, so far, so good. <laughs> just had a major sneeze attack which is why my face my nose is red <laughs> anyways I am done with all my edits and as you can see um I just went through all the um contractions and I also went ahead and went through the adverbs and made sure I wasn't using things, you know, that weren't necessary. I took them out, I amended them where I could and took them out wherever they weren't needed. So that's pretty much my revision process for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What's left to do is for me to just get the revisions back from my beta readers. And then after that, I'm going to send it to the editor. And then after that, it's all about formatting. Well, I have to do one more edit after I get it back from the editor, and then I'm gonna go ahead and print it and read it and upload it to KDP so that I can order a proof, do all the things, but that's a different vlog. So if you like this vlog and you got inspired, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos coming up. Make sure that you share this video with all your readily friends so that they too can get inspired. And I'll see you guys again in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.